So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your compass and you want to draw a circle. Now they might give you the circle or they might have you construct it, but let's go ahead and draw our own here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. Okay, like so. And then what you want to do is you just want to locate that center point. Okay, I'm just going to draw that in there. And then what you're going to want to do is if they give you the circle, you're going to want to measure the radius using the compass. You're going to want to open the compass enough so that it reaches from the center point to a point on the circle. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to just want to make a point right there on the circle. Okay, so then what we're going to do now that we have the compass uh, open up such that it, you know, it measures the distance from the center to a point on the circle, we're going to go ahead and go around the circle drawing arcs. Okay, so there's our first arc. We're then going to go to the next uh, point, draw another arc, and just work our way around the circle. If you saw the video I did on drawing a regular hexagon inscribed inside of a circle, this is the same initial process that we're doing here. So we're going around the circle, making these arcs, okay? And you can see I'm a little bit, a little bit over on that one, but that's pretty accurate. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, use every other intersection point. So I'm going to use this point here. I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to skip this one here. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to skip this one here, go to the next one. So if we use every other point of intersection and we connect those up with line segments, that's going to be an equilateral triangle. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So one, two, and three. Okay, so you can see it came out pretty pretty accurate, and you can see this is a, an equilateral triangle. It's also going to be equiangular. All these angles are going to be 60 degrees, so they all add up to 180. So that's how you construct an inscribed equilateral triangle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more constructions on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.